Hi guys, uh, like I haven't made a video in forever, but obviously if you want to see this look Keep watching, what the? Um, it's just like a really beat going out glam look, so you know Keep watching guys. Look. Hi guys. How are you? Um, I haven't made a video for ages um, Sorry if my video was oh don't mind this breakout. I've had such a bad breakout recently. I've just been so stressed. Um, I can't really say what I've really been up to because I haven't really been up to much. Um, I thought I'd just do this glam kind of eye look for you today. I haven't got any foundation on. My lips look actually huge because I got them done when I went to the buy. I went to the buy like th two weeks ago and um, I recorded like a vlog on my um, GoPro. It's around here somewhere and I lost the footage and it really upset me because I had some good pictures on there and I had some good um, videos like proper like in the sea and stuff and like I'm just so upset that I didn't save them so I'm gonna start this look anyway it's just gonna be a glam kind of um, going out look and let's start um, it's not gonna be a really talking one because um, I thought I, I just wanted to do a video because I haven't done one for ages but um, I'll be doing more kind of videos throughout the week. I've tried this whole black background thing. It's a total mess. Um, like, the fabrics were wrong. I got hooks to hook it up to my room and it just didn't work. I, I'm hanging it up on my banister and then, and then dust started falling down. It's just really not cute. So, I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Dark 3 Bronzer just to start my eyes off, okay? So hey guys, I'm just using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Brown. I'm using a Bobbi Brown bronzer to swap my eye. Um, I'm using a 224 by MAC just to blend this all out. You know how it is, guys. Same old, I'm using the Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I love the warm colours in this palette. So I'm using the Anastasia Dark Brown just to go in the crease. Um, I, couldn't find, I don't really have any dark browns that I use all the time because, to be honest, I don't really wear eyeshadow. But, um... I'm literally just going to use a 217, yeah 217, I don't work at my comments so I forgot that um, brushes, so I'm going to use a 217 just to go in my crease, um, my crease isn't huge, so um, I'm just using it a little bit, but my, oh, as you get older, I get hooded, and I'm sure my eyes are just so hooded at the moment, but um, oh well, but yeah, I'm just blending this out, I'm using bit by bit, just to make this look, look really, really cute. Um, I still I feel kind of shit at the moment because my skin doesn't look amazing, and I don't really feel my usual self. But it's just uh, one of those times in the month, you know what I mean? You know, you just feel like, uh, blah, but um, I'm definitely wanting to make more videos and just improve my channel's like quality. So I'm just gonna try and do what I can if you get what I mean. Okay, so I'm just using the Mac pencil brush. I think this is a two one. I always forget the number, but um, I'm just um, basically sharpening this up and I'm really just getting in the corners of my eye because I really want to make this really smoky, but at the same time, I want to make it a nice, really glam look. I thought I'd go for browns because sometimes blacks can be a bit much and I don't really like cool shadows because I feel like they make me look super tired and I just don't think it's cute. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm just blending this out of a 217 again just to make sure this is really buffed out and really just so complete. And just super cute, and I'm uh, making sure that's under the waterline because um, I just love a smoked out waterline because it's the best. And um, now I'm just making sure that's really more defined. I'm going back in at two one seven because to be fair, I should though. The key is just to blending it because anyone can put it on. And I feel like when you just when you learn how to blend it, you will be amazing because you're just gonna have a soft hand and you've gonna have the right tools. I feel like brushes really help as well because if you've got a really dry ass brush that can't blend you need to sit your ass down and reevaluate what you're doing so i'm just going under this i'm using a mac angled brush and i'm um just getting a bit of that dark eyebrow and powder and it's going underneath there and we just buffering it out with a 217 um i think i put a bit of black under there as well i used the cat 1d black but i just wanted to smoke it out i'm not sure it's with me but i just love the dark colors it's actually like a madness you know but um yeah so now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow on my eyes. So I use it on my face later. I'm just using this to add a bit of light on my eyes because um I want to give them a bit of But um, I'll just put my liner on. And this is a really simple look. I just used um, Anastasia. Um, I mean, I used the Bobbi Brown. Just to do a bit of red, a bit of warmth on the eyes. Then I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, um, Brow 
duo but I used chocolate and I used a darker colour and I'm just going to use these Huda Beauty lashes and put them on. I'm not really good at putting lashes on. I'm not really putting good at liner on on camera so I'm going to do these off camera and then I'm going to finish the complete look and don't tap me about this because everyone gets breakouts okay. Like my skin isn't perfect and okay so give me one second and I'll be right back. Hi guys I'm totally back because the look is totally done. It's just a nude, neutral look. I love it. Okay, so, I primed my face. I used the NARS primer. It's going to be a bit of a NARS look today, I think. Yeah, I used a NARS oil free primer, which is totally good. Um, and then I'm just going to put some peach lustre on because I'm um, not an even skin tone. And it's just going to help brighten many areas that need doing. How have you guys been anyway? I'm so sorry I haven't making any videos. You know, I just haven't been ready to do videos yet. And like, I know you guys have been on Instagram and stuff saying to of you on this club got so much skincare I've got over like the past week, which I want to share with you, which I will to be fair, but I thought I'd just do a look so you guys could see what's really going on. So I'm just gonna take a damp beauty blender and I get a mirror actually and blend this out. This is really gonna help my blemish that I've got really like lift because it's quite dark at the moment. I actually want to get um you know hyperpigmentation treatment. I've been looking around and if you guys know anywhere, let me know because I wanna do a whole video kind of thing on it to be fair. But um because I don't wear makeup and stuff, my skin isn't bad, but it could be better, you know what I mean? Like I feel like Stress has been hitting me recently and it could be much better. It's usually better. I think it's maybe the season change because I have been drinking a lot of water and yeah, but you know, you know how it goes. This, imagine I went out like this. I'm so grey right now. Like, oh my god. This is what people look like if they bleach their skin and like your face goes like a really weird grey colour like the melanin's out but obviously when I put a foundation it's gonna knock it's gonna knock this out. So I got some stuff from Netta Porter. Netta Porter Beauty. I bought this stuff all myself by the way like why would Netta Porter give me anything but anywho I'm going to be using it's actually like a first impressions kind of video actually. Should we go back? Um, I'm gonna be using the NARS, the new NARS skin matte tint because I don't want anything too heavy on my skin so hold on let me open this this is um the velvet skin tint I literally got this today and um it's in the color Polynesia I have some people do reviews on this give me one sec some people do reviews on this and um I get a feeling this may be a bit too dark for me but Let's see anyway. Oh, sorry. I should have. I really should have opened this before. Oh my god, it's so red. Look at that. It's super red. Oh, I'm gonna work with it anyway. It's really red. Oh, it's super red. But I'm gonna work with it because I'm gonna highlight anyway. So I can work with the color. Mm. Let me let me see what it looks like in the mirror. It's going on really nice. It's just too red for me. Like I'm quite surprised. The shade options are amazing. The the one lighter than this would have made me look absolutely grey. actually quite heavy it's really it's not like a tint at all it's very it's very heavy I'm so hot in this we're on to 
my eyes. Yeah, this foundation, like, is it a tinted moisturizer? Like, it feels light, but it's definitely heavy. The finish is nice though. I take that breakout, it's really making me upset, but. <sighs> Okay, let's put some concealer on because I feel like when I get when I have concealer on, I'm gonna look a bit lively. Sorry, keep going back and forth because it's like a new space in my room. I'm gonna, okay, so I'm going to use a nice creamy concealer in Cafe. Just under my eye there. This concealer is so nice. Um, when I was on holiday, I just bought loads of them. I bought Biscuit, Amande. Um, what else did I get? Biscuit, Amande, and Caramel. I re bought them because the coverage is amazing. You know, when I go to work these days, yeah, I don't put foundation. All I do is I do this, 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 this. I do all over like certain points of my face and I get a beauty blender. I don't even go like that because it makes it too heavy. I just go like that. But I'm doing this now for the video just because I want a more full look. I'll go like that. And I just put powder on and like it's just so good. And this top is from New Look, by the way. Um, my cover lens broke, so it was a really good zoom in one. So that's why y'all can't see me so properly. I might change the lens, actually. Oh, should I should use a different lens. I'm not sure why this lens is even on. I might change it now. Okay, guys, so I'm going to change lens. Bear with me. Okay, so I'm just going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Conceal in 6.0. I kept playing around with my, um, my lenses, but... Oh wow. I swear, I love highlighting. It's just like the best thing ever. Oh my God. Okay, now after my highlight, I'm quickly just gonna blend this over with my foundation brush. And then I'm gonna set it quickly if I can find. I'm gonna use the Bobby Brown. Sorry, I'm gonna use the Bobby Brown Golden Golden Orange. I use my Beauty Blender, and then I'm gonna set this highlight. I'm just pressing it on. Don't worry if you do a lot. You can take it off and blend it once it's on. But I learned this from Nikki Tutorials because she said about this. Make sure you do it on and get a damp beauty blender. I love Nikki tutorial, she's like, amazing. Okay, so you've gotta pat that shit on. <laughs> pat it until you feel like your under eye is gonna break. Now this joke can be gentle still. Then you can see they won't crease, but mine creases a lot because I use a cream. But maybe if you try you try to use that like, prolonged wear something because that's much better. There you have it. <laughs> you see how like I used to hate putting powder under my eye, but like literally I can't live without it because it's just like the highlight is the highlight is just real, man. You know, it's just like damn that highlight. Okay, so I'm gonna think.
So I've got my Bobbi Brown bronzer in dark three, and then I'm just gonna go with my contour in this bronzer. Because this, this isn't too dark as a contour, it's actually, it's actually quite red, but it's, it gives the face like a really nice warm finish. Okay, I'm gonna go into this contour and make it a tiny bit sharper. I'm just gonna blend out this contour, I'm gonna highlight under my cheekbone. I'm gonna go over it with contour again. Now, okay, now it's the best bit now. It's just time to be fleeky as fuck. So, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Glow. I haven't used this in a video since I've got it from Dubai, so I'm gonna need a mirror for this though. What mirror should I use? So it's really hard recording like this because it's the first time, but let me kind of zoom out. Okay. Let's that zoomed out for you. Okay. Next time I'm gonna be so prepared in this video and have like a little table here, because it'd be so much easier. I'm gonna use golden bronze, which is this color here, the darkest one. Um, I'm, I, you could use these highlighters really on, on like a dark skin, but the highlight would be like really intense. Yes. Look at that highlight. Yes. Yes, that highlight. I'm gonna need the extra light. What are my nose? <laughs> this is some best. Some best highlight is a bomb. Let me put that on my nose with sunlight. Oh my god, sunlight is so nice. It's really bright though. That sun. That's the bright one there. That yellow one. Ooh. She love it. I'm gonna put a bit of sun, some burst on my cheeks. Finished. I'm gonna do the lips now. Don't look crazy. I do realize this highlight is just really intense, but I love it. So I'm gonna use Spirit. I'm not gonna use any liner because my lips are just so big at the moment, and it's just crazy.
And there you have it. A quick beat. Um, I can't find my finishing powder, but 